This is A Team Adventures. I'm Allie. And I'm Alex. We're traveling across America in our van. Join us as we explore hidden gems, national parks, and more. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to our channel. This week we are road tripping through the desert. We left the north brim of the Grand Canyon behind us and are heading south towards Sedona and Flagstaff. Our first stop along the way was this quirky roadside attraction. This is the Blanche Russell Rock House, located in Marble Canyon, Arizona, near the Vermilion Cliffs. The story behind these houses is one day Blanche Russell was road tripping with her husband and their car broke down right near these rocks that had fallen. They built a shelter against one of the rocks for the night and then they ended up falling in love with the area and actually ended up purchasing the land where the rocks are and they built these rock houses. This was back in the 1920s. It really was a lot cooler inside of these rock houses. We made it to our campsite outside of Sedona and got to watch this beautiful sunset and the clouds lit up with tons of colors and there was even a rainbow. This was a beautiful, free, dispersed campsite outside of Sedona. The next morning, we headed down to Sedona and drove in past the beautiful rocks. I believe this rock is Bell Rock right here. We were headed out on a hike of the airport Mesa and it was only 9 a.m. but it was already very hot. And this hike takes you past some beautiful views of all of Sedona and of course you also get to see the airport energy vortex. And if you believe in those or not that's up to you but it's worth it to hike this beautiful hike, even if you don't believe in energy vortexes. Vortexes are believed to be areas where the Earth's energy is concentrated, creating a unique atmosphere that can enhance meditation, healing, and spiritual experiences. Sedona is famous for its four main vortex sites, and the airport vortex is the most accessible. You can just walk right up to the vortex, or we opted to do the entire hike around the mesa. Visitors flock here to soak in the positive energy, whether they're hiking, meditating, or simply enjoying the stunning views. The vortex at the airport is known for its uplifting and invigorating energy, making it the perfect spot for those seeking inspiration and clarity. Many people report feeling a sense of peace and heightened awareness when they visit. Some even claim to experience physical sensations like tingling or warmth as they connect with the energy of the vortex. I like to keep in mind that this is located on the ancestral home of the Yavapai people. This land was sacred to them long before New Age spiritualists came and called them energy vortexes. Here we are at the official site of the vortex, and I will say there was a nice breeze up here. After the hot hike, we went down to Oak Creek Canyon to take a dip in the river. You can go to Grasshopper Point, but that is a paid swimming area. So we just drove a little ways down the road and hiked down to the water. The crystal clear water was truly an oasis for us to cool us down on the hot summer desert day. It was nice to have some lizard time 
what I call getting in and out of the water. It is now the next day and we are back up in Flagstaff. We're actually north of Flagstaff at the Sunset Crater National Monument. And here we are hiking the Lava Flow Trail, which takes you through a very interesting landscape with volcanic black rock and bright green plants. It had just rained, so the green was extra vibrant. This is part of the San Francisco Volcanic Field. It's an area of volcanoes in northern Arizona that covers 1,800 square miles and 600 volcanoes ranging in age from nearly 6 million years old to less than 1,000 years old. Sunset Crater is the youngest volcano in the field. This is a peak inside of a lava tube. Given that Sunset Crater is such a young volcanic feature of this area, and eruptions have occurred every several thousand years in frequency, it is likely there will be a future eruption in the San Francisco volcanic field. It is impossible to predict when and exactly where this new eruption might occur, but the USGS says a future eruption would likely be on the eastern side of the volcanic field, where most recent volcanic activity has occurred. An eruption is likely to be small and pose little hazard due to the remoteness of the area. The centerpiece of Sunset Crater National Monument is the crater itself, a cinder cone volcano that rises 1,000 feet above the surrounding landscape its formation was the result of explosive eruptions that scattered volcanic ash and cinders across the region. We explored the area by doing the short lava flow trail that was less than a mile long. As we say goodbye to the beautiful San Francisco peaks, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time as we continue to explore America.